Hold on to your butts. These are the Squashbuckler Diaries. Come back. My name is Guy Hasson. You're listening to the Squash Buckler Diaries podcast, the podcast about Joey Shelley, the girl who lives in dreams. We are following her life from birth to death. In the podcast, we're doing seasons according to age, and we are doing small slices of life that teach us about her, about her world, what it's like to grow up in a dream before we get to the really big stuff, which happens in, uh, well, you'll see. So today is another slice of life. Uh, I'll just give a little background if this is your first time. Joy lives in her father's dreams. Her father's name is Justin. The person who, the person, the creature, the dragon who tells the story, who watches over them and guards them is called the Red Dragon. She's a female dragon and she loves Joy so much she calls her Dragon Little and therefore she calls Justin Dragon Father. And they live a life of adventure because that's what Justin dreams about. He dreams a lot about a life of a swashbuckling adventure where he's a hero and he takes his daughter on adventures with him all day, every day, almost every day. And when she, when he is awake, he's gone, but she's still there and... She has a lot of time for herself. She sleeps when he's gone, but she has a lot of waking time too. So stuff happens. And she is today's word of the day is abstinent. She has her own will. She does what she wants. You can't get her to do anything else by not sheer accident at all. She is based on three of my three kids, all of whom... <laughs> are uh, very abstinent, very self... Well, the word of the day is abstinent. Let's use, let's use the less nice word today. And they do whatever they want, and it is almost impossible to get them to do anything they don't want to do. Not because it's impossible for me, but because they are very strong-willed, which is the, the better way of saying abstinent. And... Um, so this is actually a two-parter about cleaning up the the mess you made. And the reason, there's a reason it's a two-parter, because um, we're going to see exactly what Joy is made of in episode one, but mostly in the next one as she finds a solution to her problem. So let's begin with this small slice of life about the girl who lives in dreams. Episode 87, Cleaning the Mess, Joy's Age three and a half, Joy's age, three and a half, told by the Red Dragon. Dragonfather was furious over the mess of Bunny's Revenge's deck. While he was gone for hours in his waking world, Bunny's Revenge had been parked near the beach of an island. Dragon Lil, now three and a half years old, had transported beach sand to the deck and played with it. A lot of beach sand. You just turned the deck into a beach. That's what you did, Dragon Little shrugged. How can we live like this? How can we fight villains? How can we, how can we do anything? Dragon Little shrugged again, her face revealing no emotion. A broom appeared in Dragonfather's hands. Sweep this up. Dragon Little crossed her arms and shrugged. Joy, you did it. You clean it up. Sweep it up. Dragon Little turned around and jumped from the deck to the beach, landing safely on the soft sand. I'm busy, she said. Joy! She walked away, her back towards him. Joy! Joy! She sat down on the beach and dug her fingers into the wet sand. Joy, you will come back and you will clean up what you made. Dragon Little continued to play in the sand. It took an hour for Dragonfather to shout, scream, insist, threaten, and even try to drag Dragon Little away before she agreed to do it. But what happened then is actually the reason this story is important, and why I loved Dragon Little even more afterwards. 
I will tell you the final chapter of this incident tomorrow. Told by the Red Dragon. Hashtags Joy Justin. So you know what? You know, we've all seen this kind of scene. Uh, some kids are more strong-willed than not, but everyone has their day doing the, this kind of stuff. Uh, but let's see how Joy got out of it. I will see you tomorrow in episode 88, Cleaning the Mess, part two. And now, the credits. The Squash Buckler Diaries are written and read by me, Guy Hassan. All the tags mentioned in this story are searchable at the website. You can find all the stories there in written form and in fact 150 Squash Buckler Diaries more. The Squash Buckler Diaries is the diary of Joy Shelley, the girl who lives in dreams. She'll be called the Forgotten Girl by her father. She'll be a true heroine. She'll change the world. This project shows her entire life from birth to death. Check out the website at guyhasson.com, that's G-U-Y-H-A-S-S-O-N.com. I've been an author and playwright for more than 30 years, and this is the first time I've used the guyhasson.com website, because The Girl in the Dream is my life project. If you have questions, if you want to comment, please do. You can comment at the website or email me at guyhasson at gmail.com. That's G-U-Y-H-A-S-S-O-N, G-U-Y-H-A-S-S-O-N, at gmail.com. The theme music is called Brass Gentleman and is created by Thomas Harudek. My name is Guy Hasson, and this is my life project. Come back tomorrow and tomorrow and tomorrow for more. Sweep it up.